it's Dirt Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> and we're not actually even on tour at all. No. We're on the 401, traveling the road, on the road, road again. again. Bum, 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 we bum, can't bum, wait bum. to get on the road, the road again. again. Yeah, that's all we know. Yep, that's all we got. Like always. Yes. Um, no. Holiday road. Oh. 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 Holiday road. Oh. We're on training today in Kingston. We went and saw Chris Cummins. Yes. Part of um, Richard Robbins International. Richard Robbins is one of Canada's or is Canada's leading real estate trainer. Yes, he is. So we were there visiting um, Chris. He was talking about um, generating business, how to better serve people. Yes. How to do a better job at what we do now. Yes, you will meet two, not just one, two guest appearances. They're not in the band. Not in the van. <laughs> I turned around. <laughs> you turned around looking for them? They're well, not. They're not. I'm here. like, they're not actually going to appear there. We are going to introduce you to Chris, and we are going to introduce you to Wendy Salt. Hello, this is Tara Lyons with Team Tara Lyons of Royal LePage, and I have a guest today for Tour Tuesday. Hello! <laughs> this is Wendy Salt. She's with CIBC, and she actually invited us out here for a really awesome seminar. And uh, she's going to tell us a little bit about something. I don't yeah. know what yet. CIBC is the proud national sponsor of Richard Robbins International, and today we had our guest speaker, Chris Cummins. Hey, that's me. That's Chris. <laughs> and he was excellent. So they do a you. little guest appearance from there. So anyway, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. It was good. So yes, we do training every once in a while. It keeps us up to date. It's actually really neat because we get to meet other realtors from other areas yeah. and kind of get a feel of what's going on in. Well, this would be kind of in our province. There wasn't really anybody uh, international or national uh, coming out today, but um, no, just about yeah. everybody was Eastern Ontario actually. So. Yeah, it was just kind of neat. You know, we had Brockville, we had Napanee, we had Kingston, Kingston and Belleville, and oh, so it was kind of yeah, Trenton, and so we kind of got some 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 neat ideas, especially from the Kingston Brockville area, just going a little east to see what they have to say in Napanee, even because that's nice and close. Yeah and get their opinions as to what's going on with the market. That's right. Yeah. That's good. Not everybody has experienced the boom that we saw in Belleville this year, so... No, the further you get away from Toronto, yeah. the the less impact, which yeah. makes sense, right? Yeah. Because it was Toronto that was driving that boom. Yeah. Um, which makes sense. Uh, so I had a great question on Facebook this week. Um, as many who follow us on Facebook know, we had two open houses this weekend. We did. And um, a question came up, which was a really great question. Why are our open houses only one hour long now? That's, it doesn't seem like it's enough time to get to all the different open houses if you wanted to see them all. And well, we actually have two reasons why. We do. I'll explain the first and you explain the second. Sure. So the first is there are still several people that do more than one hour. Yes. So we started shortening ours for um, making sure people would come to ours before the others because they knew they had more time to get to the others. So that was one reason. Yeah, I, the, but the main reason the main the main reason is is that very few homes sell from an open house now, and because of that, people the 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 behavior has changed of the buyers today. What's happened now is they have video online to be able to look at. There's better photos online. There's more information online about the property, so they do a lot more viewing of properties online, and then they book a sh like when they find the ones they like they book two or three of them to go see as opposed to going to an open house waiting for an open house on that property they go they book it so they can see it at their convenience they can spend the amount of time they want to go see in the home without having to be rushed out of it um, and that way things are just a whole lot more convenient so this trend to private showings and and viewing more things on the internet has made the open house a lot less relevant only a couple percent of homes are sold from actual open houses, which is different than how it used to be. Um, and so that's the main that's the main reason now. And it was a fantastic question because yes. looking at it from the outside, it seems really inconvenient. But the reality is is that open houses in general are inconvenient for people to come see. And so yeah. they come it's much see better us. for you to see a home when you're not being yeah. disturbed by the people looking around at it. Yeah. So. And we, it's, a, it's our job to show you, so let us, let us if you want to see a home, let us know. Call we, us, we'll be there. We'll be there. I don't know what song that is, but we're singing it. Making it up. Making it up. 
So if you have more questions, put them put them on the Facebook page or um, fire them off Tara TaraLines.com, Tom at TaraLines.com, whatever works. Yes. Right. Tuesday out.